for December. Fire, guys. Look at that. Beat today is just giving really nice, natural, soft, glam vibes. I'm back, guys. So, we're back today with another weekly vlog. I'm actually headed out right now because I have to go bring this camera to get fixed because the camera broke. So, I'm going to take the camera into the shop right now. It's going to take me like 39 minutes to get to um, 9th Ave because I go to BH Photos, BH Photos. So, yeah, that's the story of my life right now. But I'm happy to be back, guys. Happy New Year's to everyone. I missed you guys so much. So, so, so much. Um, I had an amazing birthday. You guys will see that birthday vlog go up today. As soon as I get back to the house, I am editing the vlog and putting the vlog up. And then I have um, a hair video that I have to edit. And I have a wig to install today, too, so I got a lot to do. But I'm back. I missed you guys. I'm actually filming right now on my Canon G7 Mark II. Um, it's, it broke on me on the trip, and I had to switch over to my iPhone, which it was only a few clips. But um, I think it's just something with the heating. I don't know what it is, but it works now, so I'm rocking with it. So this is my backup camera. I have another backup camera, another Sony. But um, for now, I'm going to use the Canon G7 Mark II as my backup camera because... It's just what I got now, and it's more handy. The other one is a little bit of a bigger, thicker camera, um, so yeah. So like I said, I'm headed to the 9th Ave in Manhattan. I'll probably just get myself some food out there because as soon as I get back home, I have to get straight into editing this vacation vlog so I can have it up by 8.30 tonight or 8 o'clock. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Happy New Year. I'm always trying to figure out how there is traffic in a tunnel. Like, come on, yo. Only in New York City. Like, why is there traffic at the tunnel? <sighs> Excuse my dirty ass windshield. I gotta get my car clean. But it's been, like, really rainy and, like, really nasty out. Like, ugh. Not snowing. That's it. We haven't really gotten snow. Maybe, like, a little flur here and there. But, like, it was nothing sticking. It's already January. But you guys know how February, that's when things like to start up. I don't like that. Like, you rating just before it gets, like... March and it's about to get a little out of the tunnel right now. I'm not sure what this what's happening, but I definitely see a cop behind on the left lane. So I guess there's like an accident or something that happened, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm telling you, year 2022 was the year of the awakening for a lot of women. Like I honestly and truly feel like a lot of people left their significant others were left the dudes that they was with like they just 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 a lot of awakening i think it was like post covid even though a lot of people broke up during covid but it was like the post covid aftermath and people just was just not putting up with it a lot of us held down the relationship during covid just for the sake of it and then once covid was over we just said you know what i'm done with this i really feel like that's what it is because 2022 was the awakening for a lot of people a lot of relationships a lot of couples minds included so i was watching on yesterday i got a um, notification and chanel um was chanel ambrosia before you guys remember ambrose is it chanel ambrose whatever i hope I'm, it is that's not her name no more so chanel Botang, she had a video that went up and she basically was saying how she got a divorce and let me tell you guys something I've been watching her for years and last year I was watching a lot of her home videos a lot of her um, trying and stuff like that and she just had weight loss surgery and all that kind of stuff so I kind of like watching people that do things similar to like me I went through weight loss a whole weight loss journey and stuff like that got my shit together got my life together whatever and I just like people that kind of you know that have the kind of like the same lifestyle that I have in a sense um, and she's probably like one of the only London based bloggers that I watch or UK based Based bloggers that I really really watch like that so she was recently talking about how she got a divorce bro <laughs> I'm telling you guys that I feel like last year when I was watching her videos I knew it I don't know if it's because I was going through the same thing and we kind of had like I don't know what it is maybe I just can see it on her but I knew it from jump like I felt it, like I saw it. I felt like, cause we were basically went through the same thing. Like I went through, I was with someone for six years. She was with her husband for eight years and they got a divorce. I didn't, obviously I wasn't married to the person I was with, but still I had like this whole year of just kind of getting my shit together. And I can see 
the light that you guys or the glow that you guys see in me now post breakup when you're splitting from somebody so I saw in her and I knew something I knew she was she split from the guy I just knew I didn't have to like get all nosy like, oh where's her husband where I didn't have to look for the husband because I don't really care I you know I'm mainly watching the channel for her so I didn't even look for her or think about like oh where's her husband because I don't really care about that I saw it in her the way she was moving her glow and a lot of you guys say now that I have like this glow or like I'm just like glowing and just like moving past this and just doing what I got to do and I saw that in her so that's how I knew that she was going through something or she was splitting from something or just moving on with a, n a new chapter of her life and it's just so crazy guys year 2022 was the awakening I'm telling y'all it was the awakening for these down right down low I'm not sure what her situation was but 2022 was the awakening for a lot of women in these just low relationships these low vibration relationships like and I'm telling you guys 2023 is a year okay it's the fucking year I never say stuff like that I never make New Year's resolutions and things like that but I'm telling you all this all these women that are out here breaking the chains of these terrible relationships are leveling the fuck up guys I'm telling you the last five months of my life have been the best of my life. All right, guys. I had a a, a, a a couple of bad ones, you know, back then. But I'm telling you guys, the last five months of my life have been the best five months of just dom time. Getting my shit together. Getting to work. You know, just taking care of the business, the bills, like just doing me and still having some left over just to indulge in, okay? I'm telling you guys, this feeling, this glow, you can tell when things are going up or moving up for you. I'm telling you guys, I sensed that in her way before. I'm like, yeah, she ain't with that man. <laughs> she ain't with that man. Because guess what? I got the same glow now. And I ain't with that man. <laughs> Happy New Year's, guys. Blessings to her and all the things that's about to come to her. Because I already see it coming to her and she's going to be fine. Let me tell you something. Like I said, I might put the TikTok in here for you guys. Because I think that TikTok is very important for you guys to see. Sometimes in these relationships, you don't lose anything. Like financially, uh, you know, you don't you lose anything but your but yourself in these relationships you literally only lose yourself everything else is okay <laughs> the breakup might shatter your little soul a little bit have you emotionally fucked up but you still gonna walk out this shit like a champ okay so at the end of the day it's about rebuilding getting into therapy rebuilding your confidence rebuilding your self-esteem rebuilding your emotional uh, mindset and all that kind of stuff once you start healing and you get into therapy and you continue the things that you was already doing nobody can stop you all right guys can't nobody stop you then so i'm so blessed thank you god for everything you've done to, for me in 2022 and moving forward into, into 2023 i know i'm about to get what's coming to me soon trust me remember i said this well a good thing not coming to me soon i'm about to get blessed like I'm supposed to watch all right guys so it seems like my camera is broken so my camera is broken but I have to actually go through Sony because I have a two-year accidental protection on it so they'll either just send me a brand new camera in the mail so I'm just gonna go home and go online and sort that through finish that and then start editing the video and yeah I'm actually hungry something I should get something out here but I don't know, and I'm ashy too. So there's a little bit of traffic right now, so I decided to get food out here. So I ordered from Pio Pio 8, which is a Peruvian restaurant. Usually when I get Peruvian food, I'll get like Lomo or something like that, but I didn't get that this time. I got their roasted, their famous roasted chicken, um, and then I also got some saffron rice with red beans and avocado on the side. When I tell you I'm about to bust this down, I'm going to bust this meal down when I get to the house. Um, it's 11 minutes away, and the GPS, I mean, it says it's going to take 10 to 20 minutes for them to prepare. Oh, no, 5 to 15 minutes to prepare the food. So the reason why I'm happy I ordered it now is because at this time, the food can't be nasty. Like, y'all can't fuck this up. You know what I mean? So I'm going the opposite. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, no.
The GPS is trash AF. I got some of their popular chicken at Pio Pio 8, if I didn't mention that already. And then I also got avocado. I'm gonna eat this twice, guys, because I'm not cooking today. I'm busy, I got videos to edit, things to do. You feel me? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have half of, ooh, should I eat the white part first, or should I, I don't, I'm gonna have the white part, I love white meat. And it comes with the Peruvian sauce as well, the Peruvian green sauce. I know what this is called, I I think. Don't quote me on it, but yeah. And then like a little vinaigrette. Um, so I'm about to bust this down. I'll show you guys my little plating or whatever, but I'm back. So this is the plating. Y'all already know the deal. I'm about to bust this down. I'm so hungry. It is 3.06 right now, so I gotta start editing very soon. Here is the green sauce. I'm not gonna eat all because obviously I gotta split it for my meal later, but baby. All right, guys, so I'm actually hanging out in my bed right now. I'm not going to sleep yet. Y'all see I got this wig up on my head. The lace ain't even cut off. But I was trying to figure out what, if I wanted to install this unit, which I have to review anyways, because I'm going out tomorrow. And I think this style is very, very cute. It looks so pretty. So I'm going to install this tomorrow. I was just trying to put it on my head to see, you know, how I wanted to wear it. But I pretty much settled to doing, like, a little sort of part, joint, joint, or whatever. Um, yeah, so... This is what it's looking like. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that I did go ahead and pick up my birthday gift. My birthday gift this year, besides the trip, it was kind of like something I wanted to do, a birthday trip anyways. But I wanted to get myself a gift. I've kind of wanted this gift for two years. So I finally got it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen. So I got the Cartier uh, Love Bracelet and the Love Ring. Um, I ended up getting the small size bracelet and I also got the smaller size ring. Um... Trust me, price-wise, it came out as a great deal. Um, and you guys can see it right here. It looks, if it will focus, it looks fire, guys. Look at that. Super, super cute. It fits right between my Fendi and my Louis Vuitton. And it's kind of like a high-low arm right here. I absolutely love this. I went to Cartier on the 30th. The day after I came back from my trip, I actually went. Um, when I was on my trip, I was like, you know what? I'm going to finally get this because I've always wanted it. And it's not like anything was stopping me. It's just kind of... No. I was stopping myself because you guys know I'm frugal AF, but I felt like I deserve this. I literally wanted this since my 30th birthday and I was kind of like, you know, waiting on it and stuff like that. But I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get it. So when I got back from my trip on the 29th, on the 30th, I actually went and got my bracelet and my ring. It was really nice. The guy in there was very, very nice. Walked out with my concealed bag and... I'm a Cartier girl now. I'm just joking. Is that really a thing? Um, but the ring, hopefully it focuses, but the ring is very, very cute, guys. Focus. There it goes. It's a small size ring. Looks super cute. And I also got, for Christmas, this coach bracelet. So I put this bracelet on the side because this bracelet is like a little bit bigger than the other two. Uh, the other three, the other three stack up on each other. So the coach bracelet is really cute. I got this as a Christmas gift. So I wore it on this hand with the Cartier ring. And then... On this side, I have my Fendi, Cartier, Louis Vuitton, and then you guys know with my ashy ass hands, I got a Cartier ring, as I mean a Fendi ring as well. So, that was what I wanted. If you guys noticed that, like on the last recent trips that I've been on, when I went to Vegas, I bought the, another Fendi ring, which is on the bed somewhere. When I went to Singapore, I got the first Fendi, the set, the Fendi ring with the Fendi bracelet, which fire to me so i'm kind of creating a set and i feel like the cartier was just the last piece to lock and load it so super happy about that i finally got it um and a lot of you guys saw it on instagram and we're just like really happy because you guys i think you guys know like i've talked about that i was like i, I want a cartier and i feel like you guys probably realized like i was trying to make like a collection of it on my arm i just mm, mm. Ooh, I'm just joking, but yeah. So the vlog was great. Thank you for everyone that joined in the vlog. It was a good time. It was about 400 of you guys in the chat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I realized that I made a mistake. Like, let me tell you guys something. When it came down to editing this vlog, I had the biggest like computer malfunctioning things going on. It was a mess. One thing I'll tell you guys, do not use a memory card and share it between different cameras because what will happen is that the computer won't be able to read the stuff that was saved on one camera on that memory card versus the other one, which happened to me. So I had to go out yesterday and buy a brand new memory card. In order for me to get all the trip files that I had on the old memory card, I had to use Wi-Fi, which is great on the cameras. They have Wi-Fi. So I connected the Wi-Fi to the Canon app and I just uploaded it that way. But the problem was 
the the files did not process even though they're 1080p like 4k film or whatever it would not process it in the computer that way so the files ended up being just sd instead of sdhd when you see the quality on youtube and i actually went back to look at the other one so i knew that it didn't process as a sdhd so it's annoying but you guys still could see it's good quality but it just pisses me off because the video is an hour long like i put all that work in there for why would you not process the video and i should have known something was up because the video took was so quick to process on final cut pro x Mike, why are you going that fast on an hour-long video? I Sometimes I post 20-minute videos that take almost an hour to upload. So I should have realized then that something was wrong. But I was really excited about the vlog, and you guys were really excited about it too. So I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about it. I would, being me, I would actually delete the video and repost it tomorrow, but I'm not doing that. It's done and done. The video was filmed last year in 2022, so it's 2023. We'll fix that up now. Um, I have a video to edit tonight, another hair video for tomorrow. And this video right now will go up on... Sunday so yeah so tomorrow do like a little get ready with me or whatever maybe huge possibility I think I'm not sure maybe I had to like I should probably just add the Q&A in this video I have a video to edit right now but I want to take a little bit of a break because I want to show you guys this gift that my first wig sent me when I tell you guys, I absolutely scream when I got this in the mail. My first wigs, and they kind of went, it goes perfectly with the decor. They knew my decor. my, And they picked the best pictures from my Instagram. My graduation picture in 20, was this 2020, but I got my, I passed the boards 2021. So this is my graduation in 2020, November 2020. Um, this is just one of their wigs that I modeled, and I look fire. And then they knew the vibes. They got that good old picture when I was in JA back in 2020. Girl! I need to get back to this size because, baby, I just need to lose like 15 pounds because, girl, I was fine. I might still am. But shout out to my. Let me tell you what. Let me tell y'all something. I've been working for these companies for like six years now. Years. It's nice to still see that the ones that you started with, the one the companies that opened first and you were one of the first, well, I wasn't one of the first, but I was probably like the fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth, one of those, to start working with these companies. So I was kind of there in the beginning and to see that they stay loyal to me just as much as I stay loyal to them. Look at how, come on, y'all, this made my entire day. And they strategically picked out these beautiful photos. Thank you so much, MyFirstWigs.com, for this. I am truly, truly blessed and thankful for this. Like, I was so happy. And honestly, this is my favorite picture. Like, I don't really, like, I don't really acknowledge how much work I put in that year, during, especially because this was during COVID. Like, I did that, okay? I really gotta get rid of this thing. It looks so stupid and distracting falling down my um, thing. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to Connecticut right now. I did tell you I was gonna install the wig today and I did install the wig today. Um, fabulous, love the color. It's not like the color I had recently. This one's more of like a honey blondish, 27, you know, very piano-y, very gorgeous. I love how the base of the unit is dark. So here, Vivi company's bomb af guys i love working with this company they got like some high quality wigs and the good thing about the wigs from this company is that it already comes done i didn't have to tweeze this stuff uh, tweeze this sucker i don't have to tweeze this unit like i just to make my little formulate my little baby ears or whatever and <sighs> you guys know curls gorgeous i this has been like my i you know what i, I don't know if i told you guys this like i feel like i'm just now well not just now stepping into my femininity, but I feel like I'm definitely more feminine now. Like just like being able to just rest in my femininity. And I know that sounds crazy, but not really because I played a huge masculine role in most of my relationships. Like I've always been the lead, like which I fucking hate that. Um, but well, I don't hate that because it shows you, it shows independence. Like you grow, you grow independence that way because you kind of know how you got to do things. So, but I just felt like in a lot of my relationships I was always having to step into my masculinity and now I could just be feminine and do what I gotta do. I don't know there's I don't know if you guys
guys can tell. But I'm here and I'm stepping into it. And I just feel like now I just have the free choice to do, you know, just, you know, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but I just feel like I am just like stepping in, stepping in, stepping into my femininity more now. Like, I literally like, can dress all the time, do my hair all the time, do my makeup just to go out, even if I'm going to the grocery store. So, you know, I try to look cute, especially starting this year. I'm really trying to put that extra, um, not extra work, and just, you know, giving myself that hype, you know, because I am that bitch. You feel me? But, anyways. I am on my way, um, I'm almost at the house, but I'm gonna go to the liquor store first uh, to get us some drinks because the ladies are gonna come to the house tonight so we can just hang up and catch up. Every time I go to Connecticut, I sleep over like, you know, at least once, one night or two nights. So I'll go like, you know, every week or every other week, whatever, and I'll just have a slumber out there. Tomorrow morning, I gotta go to the post office and make a new PO box, so remind me, but y'all not gonna really remind me unless I watch this clip before I edit this video for Sunday's vlog, but whatever. Um, and then I want to go to Walmart tomorrow to do like a little bit of shopping so you guys will do that with me tomorrow But I'll show you guys what my outfit looks like when I get to my destination. It looks really really cute So I had to do a little close-up for you guys to see like Do y'all see that? <laughs> Gorgeous, so I had to do this little close-up for you guys so that way the wig is giving what it's supposed to give And the beat today is just giving really nice natural soft glam vibe all right, guys, so I've been here for a little bit while. Our reservation time is coming up, so we're about to head out right now. Um, I'll show you where we're going. It's going to be good. I already looked at the menu. I'm kind of in between, like, a pasta or a fish. So I'm, like, in between, but I definitely want some red wine. The ladies are coming over later to hang out, so I bought some wine. I told you guys already. I bought two bottles of wine, Menage a Trois, the red blend and the midnight blend. Love it. So I got two bottles, and... I don't know what everyone else is bringing, maybe shots or something like that. We're gonna have a good time. They're coming around 8.30, so hopefully we hang out for about three, four hours and then off to bed. Tomorrow I'm going to brunch, so I'm super excited about that. So, yeah. Ooh. I'm yawning because I had some wine, but I'm all right. Here, Dan, this is as good as it's gonna get. My outfit is actually really cute. Let me show ya. You don't want the wine? Yours looks great. Cheers. For December. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. She's like from Ghana and stuff, but she grew up in Rhode Island. Thank you. Delicious. Look at this. She got glory. Who's out, Sezzy? Just stop asking questions. Alex, Monica, Samantha. Tia. No, Tia Pabla. Oh. Mashesa. This is for Dan. And then Uvesa. Look at her game over hat. <laughs> hey, should people just be wearing anything? Oh, wee! That him? No, not that kind of. Why? It's that bell too, right? Oui. The bell. Mm. Curious. Uh, so two like this. Uh, one for each one. I don't know who I'm going to give up. Who, me? So I got the helmet back here. What? Kiraso. Kiraso. Oui. Hello, Talia. Oui. Me mayo, mayo di membara, you know. Hey, Kiraso, Talia. Oui. 
Oh, Caribbean islands. Kiasu. Oh. I love popcorn. Yeah. You don't? You don't? Sexy fun one. Yeah. Woo! Yay! Cheers, Al. Cheers, Donna. Love you. Love you. Cheers, Cindy. Cheers. Love you. Love you. Look at Dan being mad because I love you. <laughs> Other people can love her. That's not why. Lock them up, guys. No big deal. <laughs> oh my god, the, the drill came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's how y'all feel. It's time to party. That's the one from Virginia? Remember the one I'm asking you? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to was it this one that we had? Yeah. It was so Menage good. Menage a trois? Yeah, I think it's like so. It's $10. I don't think so. <laughs> that Bitch! Was a, that was the, um, I, I, it that is. was the original. It is. It's $10, but it's so good. It's mm -hmm. like dry. That was my oh. man, Cindy. Oh, no, it's your oh, man. It's dry. extra dry. Well, we went, it's good, though. We went to Georgia with her. There was like you did this out? I'm man. out to him. And we were, we were at his house, and he was Damn, my nails not done. My nails actually Just stop! Let me get, get one out of them. Get one out of them. Yeah, you could have been a real housewife. Rinse it off. You could have been a real housewife. Yeah, absolutely. He moved on to me after you left. So. Of course he did. <laughs> was he cute though? Well, that's the thing with sugar daddy. Uh, he was cute to you? Sweet nothing? What was he saying? <laughs> this is sweet nothing. Wow, your complexion is beautiful. And oh my God! Thank you. I'm, I'm a quick job. job. Well, I'm okay. starting a new job in two weeks. So oh my fun. God! I'm so excited. It's eleven twenty-two. Who ain't selling no pieces of me at eleven twenty-two? Domino's is only open. Ew. Oh, exactly. Favorite. They're delicious. Don't say well that's a cheesy bread. Well yes, done. Well yes. done. Yes. Eat it. Unless yes, you get like bread. Thin, yes. thin crust. Well done. Well done with the extra butter garlic sauce. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Domino's is disgusting. No, it's not. Fire. Yes, it I is. haven't had the any. cheesy Fire. bread. Is disgusting. I never had cheese bread. Okay, <laughs> never <laughs> really no, no, pizza. No, I went to pizza. Is disgusting. No, it's not. The cheesy. I haven't had pizza. I tried this. I haven't had pizza in a long time. I'm gonna be honest. I tried cheesy bread. It's disgusting. I don't eat crust. I it's garlic. I I tried the thin crust pizza because no. I'm a sucker for the pizza. And it wasn't good. No, it was no, 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 no. I said I tried it. Oh, that's like tasty. But like other paper. than that, I haven't got the pizza. No. Like the pizza was so bad. I didn't even oh, think about yeah. trying anything else. No. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I was toe up from the flow up the other day with the ladies. It's been a few, it's been like a few weeks since um, I've seen them, and you know, it's a new year, so we have to at least see ourselves or each other in the beginning of the year. But, bro, I was toe up from the <laughs> So yesterday I needed a rest, like I had a headache, everything. So I'm back today, I'm refreshed, I'm renewed. I'm actually headed out now to Target and Aldi's to get some essentials. I haven't really gone shopping, if you guys have noticed, in a long time. Like you guys know, you guys know like I do like a weekly, bi-weekly shop and stuff like that, but I haven't in a while. So today's football going on right now, so I knew that during Sunday footballs, people don't really be out like they don't in New York City. So the stores and traffic is a little bit less. Right now I would've thought it took me like uh, almost an hour to to Harlem and it's only gonna take me 28 minutes that's why I decided to go to Harlem instead because it'll take me 20 minutes down to the one like you know locally but why not make it a day adventure and just go to ha Harlem and I'm gonna go to Aldi's as well which is right next door to that one I made a list it's not a crazy list I have no coffee cream I have no K cups but usually I like to get my K cups from like TJ Maxx or home goods because they be having the K cups for really good prices there but they usually have like the seasonal ones like pumpkin spice and I'm over pumpkin spice at this point so um yeah so i'm going to get some stuff i also need some butter some eggs i'm not gonna do a trader joe's haul till or maybe i'll do a trader joe's haul but you guys will see the trader joe's haul in this video you guys will see the trader joe's haul in uh my next video so hope you guys enjoy this, this vlog i wanted to go today up today but it's not gonna go up today it's gonna go up tomorrow I have a hair video going up later and yeah so welcome back guys hopefully you guys are enjoying this vlog thank you guys so much for all the love on my travel <laughs>
my first solo birthday or my first solo trip in general thank you guys for all the birthday wishes thanks for all the positivity the love y'all see the glow y'all feel the vibes y'all know what's up so thank you guys so much but let me go ahead and drive because there's a cop in front it's gonna take me 26 minutes so it's really not that bad um and i'll catch you guys inside the stores okay tell you got some cute little velvet pants orange well then these right here are really pretty like this pink color right here and this orange and the material is really nice like this is really nice And then they also have the satin dress as well too, which I think is cute. Oh, they're on clearance. Oh, fourteen dollars. Oh, I don't like the front. That's a mess. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. They even got cargo pants, but these are wide leg. And they have it in this pretty chocolate brown color. I like that. That's pretty. I don't like the leg though, but these are cute. The new day brand is always like $25, $27. What else they got? Hmm. All right. They got jackets right here. This is the collection section. All right guys, so it looks like two good yogurts as a smoothie. The smoothie looks pretty good. I'll show it to you guys when I get to the house. But I got three of them to try out. And I'm gonna see if I can find a granola. I usually get the grain free one. They're on sale for $5.49. They also have the honey almond granola. But I think I'm gonna, oh, banana nut. Uh, it's either between this one and this one. Let me look at this one. That's not bad. Let's go to Walmart for this. This is way too expensive. Eight the girl, please. Um, or I'll go to I don't know. But I do need a cooking spray, so let me grab a cooking spray. Try the This one sounds pretty good. She sells fire. This one is say four dollars each when you buy two. What? So it's $15.99. I'm not buying two, so it's not really a sale. So this is $15.99, which is pretty expensive. It's a hard decision, guys. $11.99 if I buy two. Or $15.99 if I get one. So I see that they have these. These actually look pretty good. Six of these. So let's see the calories in the back. For two skewers, it's 130 calories, which is pretty good. No.
gotta check the back and make sure none of these is looking crazy. But I love when they have the shredded green leaf lettuce. I really gotta grab these from the back though. All right, I need some toilet paper, so I'm gonna grab a four pack of this one. This is the best one to grab. Okay. And then we're strolling. Strolling. Started to. Alright, so Kerology is in Target. But I'm gonna get myself. Decided to be adventurous and come to Trader Joe's just to come to find out that there is so much traffic in and out of it. I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna come tomorrow morning on like the Mondays, Tuesdays. Like during the weekdays, if you come early, there's nobody here because everybody goes back to work. So I'll just deal with this tomorrow. Like I'm mad that I came over here though. Whatever I could, I really needed extra breakfast and stuff, but I guess tomorrow I'm just gonna have something else. I can't go to the grocery store down street from my house, which I'll probably do, but this is annoying. Like, why is everybody here? But I'm here though, right? I do want some pizza for dinner. Like, I don't feel like cooking, but I just shop. Like, you ever have that? Like, I, I shopped. I could probably make, no, maybe I won't make dinner tonight. So I'm back guys, I have a video that I need to fix up around seven. I always give myself time. So the video's already up, I just have to put a title in the thumbnail. And then once I'm done with that, then I'm just gonna have the video go up at 8.30. It's already up on YouTube anyways. Um, I need to show you guys the stuff that I got today, but let me just settle down a little. Hey, give me a sec. Back. So this is the stuff that I got. So I was contemplating on the coffee, but I ended up just getting it. If you get two, each of them is $11.99 for 24 K-Cups. So I paid like $25 for both of them, which is not bad, because if you didn't, it would be like $16 for one. So I guess it was a good deal. They got you, girl. But it is what it is. Um, I did go ahead and get the potatoes. I like this potato. Um, with the herbs on it, I can just make this and then like split it up into like meal prep or not have to because I'm trying to get back on game and be pro productive during the days and stuff like that. So I'm trying to make it easier for me, especially because I want to do a little bit of a dieting, you know, not crazy dieting, but you know what I mean. I also got the banana nut granola because I want to start, like I said, having quick things that I can eat because I just need to eat, but I'm not. I don't have anything that's quick to grab and go. Like, I be doing my makeup. I could eat while I do my makeup. You know what I mean? That type of thing. So, I got the two good yogurts. Um, this one's always a favorite. You guys know I love this one. I showed you guys that they now have the two good smoothies, which is a really nice deal. I was shocked when I saw this. And they got the best favorite, which is strawberry banana. So, if I'm just, like, running out of, you know options or don't have time to like make something real quick i could just have one of these to hold me over it's only 70 calories so if you're doing calorie counting this is a good um drink for calorie counting it does have 10 grams of protein has zero added sugars but there is sugar in this one but the sugar is not too bad it's not going to be your two gram sugar like the yogurt but it's good enough for what it's giving so i got three of those i got an onion black hair dye because i just want to refresh fresh it up a bob that i have toilet paper some avocado oil spray these sprays are pretty solid guys i get it from here i either get it from walmart or trader joe's i got some brioche buns calorie counting wise you can still have a brioche bun it's only 160 calories for the brioche bun i got some tzatziki mix and some naan bread so i can kind of make in some lettuce too so i can kind of make like a little bit of a non bowl or whatever non bowl like a little bit of a greek bowl so i thought this would be nice to toast this up maybe make some chicken grilled chicken have the, the salad and you know just make two of these and put everything on top and have it so that'll be kind of like a lunch idea that i wanted to come up with so i'll show it to you guys if i decide to do um like a cooking series which i know you're gonna be like please 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 chill anyways i got some butter from aldi's at aldi's i basically only got one two three four items from aldi's one, two, three, four items from all these. And then everything else was from uh, Target. Uh, Target now has Curology, which if you tried Curology before, kudos to you. I did get a PR package from Curology way back. Um, they have these emergency spot patches. I'm not going to lie to y'all. If you guys have ever used the spot patches, they're actually really, really good. So I recommend these just because if you have like a pimple, like 
in the night, like you gotta do makeup tomorrow, and like in the morning, and you don't want that pimple to be big and red and you know, like just juicy. I'm telling you, try these, they work. Um, I didn't get the cleanser and all that kind of stuff. They did have like a little travel size, but the travel size box is a little bit torn a little bit at the top, and I would be pissed off if I get home and find out that something is missing, so I didn't take my chances, because listen, I would be pissed. So I decided just to stick with the um, Tasha um, water cream and the moisturizer that I have. It works perfect. I have not had any reactions with that on my skin. Helps my skin look glossy, glowy, and mm, love that product. But... For emergency spots like pimples and stuff like that, random ones that I get on like, like the lower part of my jawline, I will just use this um, if I ever see that happen. But these are pretty good. I tried this from another brand. And since Curology is in store now, y'all don't even have to do that online shit no more. Y'all literally can just go into the store and get the cleanser and all the stuff that comes with it. So, yeah. So this is what I got. Yeah. This is what I got. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and then... Hang out a bit and figure out if I'm going to do a makeup, finish doing this hair video tonight. Like, I, I would have to do a beat face, obviously. Let me just let talk to you. So, I would have to do a beat face, obviously, but I feel like, oh, and I just like, okay. So, I would have to do a beat face and everything, but I'm kind of like, do I want to do a beat face? You know what, I'm going to do it because I just want to get this hair video out the way so I can have these edited. I have another hair video that's scheduled, that's supposed to be scheduled for the 11th. So, me getting this hair video done with would just be easier. And I feel like, you know what, it looks good. It's a little lifty right here, but I have like a little bit of um, spray on it, so I'm going to just put it down. But I feel like I need to just get it out the way so I can proceed on because I have other hair videos to do. So, yeah. And I did cover up my blemishes today with a little bit of the Makeup Forever, but my skin looks... This is that water cream from... Like, my skin, and I use a vitamin C um, color corrector from Murad. Yo, my skin has been getting so much better, so much glowy, so much fun, and rich looking out. Mm. Alright guys, so I'm trying to catch up with Walking Dead right now because I haven't watched it in a while. I made some white rice and I also have um, some garlic, onions, and thyme cooking up. So I'm going to do some black beans as well. I got to have my like seasoning cook up in here first. I think I'm going to have some more water to the rice, but yeah. And then as a protein, I ordered some wings, some soy wings. I gotta reheat these up. I never eat them like this straight. I have to reheat them up in the air fryer, add a little soy sauce extra to it. But I'll show you guys what that looks like. I always get these wings for the parties when I'm having place at parties, so it's blazing. So let me let this cook up and I'll show you guys what it's getting. And that is what you call dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Top of the morning to you. And yes, she's still here say so i'm just joking so i just got ready showered did some skincare i'm getting the wig prepared because i'm about to finish this hair video there is not a front look crazy in the beginning but i'm about to get it ready and finish the hair video and then we are out of here so let me hurry up real quick